ladies, welcome to Beauty by Heart. I'm Lilin, also known as Lulu. Today I'll be sharing with you this to customize your own eyeshadow palette, which is the soft pinks and the gold palette. In this video, I will share with you this the color selected, the hand swatches of the colors, and also this eye makeup look. I am finding different ways to reuse and revisit my current makeup, especially the single eyeshadows and create videos with them. So hopefully this video can inspire you dears to re-look and revisit your current makeup and your existing eyeshadows and flare your creativity into customize your own eyeshadow palette. It will be very fun. And when you do create your own eyeshadow palette, please let me know and update me in my Instagram account which is somewhere around here on the screen and in the description box below. Also, if you'd like me to customize a certain color theme eyeshadow palette, please let me know I will do it next month. Thank you so much and now, let's get started! This customized eyeshadow palette was actually inspired by this Huda Beauty Gold Obsession palette. I have a dedicated review of this Gold Obsession palette and if you'd like to know more, please refer to the video. I will attach here on the screen and also in the description box below. And I actually customized this palette way before I bought this Huda Beauty Gold Obsession palette. For the festive season, I'm always into gold and very sparkly eye makeup look. And I always love a soft pink eye makeup look. So I think this customization palette is actually the extension of this Huda Beauty Gold Obsession palette. So coincidentally, in the beginning of the year, I think around the first quarter of this year, I've customized a pink eyeshadow palette and now ending with another pink eyeshadow palette. I've selected a total of 16 colors and these colors have different finishes, different formulas and for different uses. I always like a 40% matte and the rest will be the shimmers, the metallics, the glitters and chromes. And in this palette, I've selected 5 mattes and 11 shimmers. Okay, sorry, I can't really hold up this palette upright because if you can see, these are the press shimmers from Love Flux Beauty and it has tons of fallout. So the whole palette is very dirty. So let me just start off with this first row, which is for me, this row will be the highlighter row and also for the crease and crease transition row. So these two colors over here are for the highlights. You can use it at the inner corner and under the eyebrow bone. And for these two colors, these are for the crease or you can use it as a crease transition color. The first color I've selected for this first row will be this. This is from Amy Hearts Beauty. This is an indie brand but I do not support this brand anymore. And recently I went to the website to check out whether they are still selling this color. I couldn't really find their website. I don't see that they are selling any products now. So I do not know whether they still exist. Anyway, this is the color Ghost. It has a sheer base, it's more like a topper and it's very very shimmery. It is a light purple with a gold white base, grid as a topper. So this is the color. I think you can see the white base with the gold shift. And this is the color I'm using here in the inner corner and also under the eyebrow bone. And the next color of the second row will be from the Sydney Grace. This is winter time. This is in their Winter 2017 bundle, which has already been discontinued. And this is a very shimmery, light, lilac -y purple. This is the color over here. I love Cine Grey's shimmery colors because they are so shiny and reflective. And I'm using this color over here at the beginning of the eyelid. Next color again from Amy's Hearts Beauty. This is a matte color. The color name is Fruity which is the color over here, this color. This is a matte light beige pink color. But something about Amy Hearts Beauty's formula is they are very very fragile and very very soft. When I simply use a finger to gently touch it, it actually breaks the eyeshadow apart. And I'm using this on my crease now. And then from Cine Grace again, this is my more recent purchase from their Black Friday sales. This is French Hands. It's also a matte color. It's a light peach with pink undertone. And I'm using this color as the crease transition color right now. 
and this is the second row starting with this Love Lux Beauty this is the Press Shimmer Pigment and I've hated dealing with them <laughs> this is their old version the new version comes with a round pen and the price increase so this is in the color Flirt which is a pale champagne color I'm not sure whether you can see this actually just left a little over here it, you can see the bottom of the pen already not because I've used this frequently but because it has tons of fallout which caused my eyeshadow palette to be so messy anyways I'm using this for the sparkle I love the sparkle but it's just that I find this very hard to manage for this formula I have to use the glue wet my finger at the eyeshadow guard over here replace over here to prevent it from falling all over the face and seriously I find it's very very difficult to manage as it has tons of fallout anyways I'm using this either at the beginning of the eyelid the front part here or if you're there too you can use it over at the inner corners but I usually don't want to do that because the particles is quite chunky and I'm afraid that it can get into the eyes and if it does it will be very uncomfortable for my eyes so usually I will just apply it over here at the beginning of the eyelid and this is the color over here it swatches so beautifully on the hand and this is so reflective shiny and sparkly it's just that it is very hard to manage and has tons of fallout next color will be a matte color again actually this you can also use this as a crease color this is from Sydney Grace in the color laughter this is in one of their eyeshadow bundle which is already discontinued if I'm not wrong it either should be under the raspberry bundle should be raspberry bundle yeah this is a matte light pink with a brown undertone so you can use this as the crease color or the crease transition color and this is one of my favorite colors from Makeup Rising Phoenix hey, sorry I haven't, I haven't shown you the colors on the hand swatch so this is the Sydney Grace Laughter and then this is the Makeup Rising Phoenix color there could have been no two hearts and in fact I like this so much that I have two of this this is a very glittery and shimmery color it is a cool tone pink eyeshadows with a subtle blue sparkles this is so feminine so girlish and it's so pretty Ooh. and next again from love flux beauty this is in the square pen and this is their tra chrome yesterday when i went to love flux beauty website i couldn't see this color anymore so i'm not so sure whether they have discontinued this or they this is out of stock so anyways this is their tra chrome which is the color over here this is flamethrower it has a very strong pink base at certain angles of the lighting so you can see a copper and a gold base and shift and so this is the second row starting from this color from the flux beauty which is the press shimmers and sydney grace laughter and this is we got rising phoenix they could have been no two hearts and this is again from the flux beauty flame thrower wow see this color really sparkles and shine all oh, these are very shiny and very beautiful and usually i will apply this kind of colors on the eyelid itself and as you can see, the second row is the pink color row. And the third row is mainly the gold row over here. And I've included various kinds of gold which starting from again from the Fast Beauty this is their pressed shimmers pigments formula and this is on my eyes in the middle of the eyelid see how sparkly it is but it's very difficult to manage <laughs> so this is the one okay i think 
think putting here will be more convenient for you guys to see. This is the color Frenzy. It's a pale gold shimmer color. Usually how I remove this kind of pressed shipments glitters will be I will use a scotch tape to take around the areas where I apply the glitters and the shimmers and then just peel it off and repeat this process for a few more times followed by an eye makeup remover to remove it and the next color will be a peach gold from Colourpop This is the color over 8 And I'm using this color over here at the bottom of my eyelid. This is a metallic peach gold color. Again from Colourpop, this is the color Carrot Cake. Okay, I think you just can see in this angle better. This is a metallic chartreuse color. And this is a personal favorite color of mine. And followed by this from Makeup Rising Phoenix again, this is Amaran. I think this is one of the Egyptian gods. And this is a very shimmery, bright yellow gold colors with gold glitters. So for this third row over here, you can use these colors as the main eyelid color. For the lighter one over here, Love Flux Beauty, you can also use it as a highlighter colors and again because of the texture I did not use it at so near the eyes so instead I'm using this press shimmers and glitters over here at the beginning of the eyelid so basically this row over here is a mid-tone color for the eyelid use This is the last row from this palette which is a neutral row. First two colors from this row are shimmers and the last two will be a dark matte colors for the outer corner. So let me start off with this from Colourpop. This is Snake Eyes. This is a shimmery pale pink taupe color where I will use this color on the middle eyelid. Next, shimmery colors will be from Cine Grace. This is so as their single eyeshadow. This is the color Blushed. I love their metallic colors because these are so reflective and shiny. And this is their metallic dusty rose color. Again, from Cine Grace, this is a dark brown with a warm undertone matte color in the color Keep Smiling. If I'm not wrong, this color is part of their Winter 2017 eyeshadow bundle which is already discontinued. Not sure whether they will bring it back. So usually for these two dark colors over here, I will just use it at the outer corner to deepen the color. And the last color from this palette, also from the row, will be this matte black from Amy Hearts Beauty. This is actually quite sure, but because the main look I wanted from these customized eyeshadow palettes are these soft looks, so I just sometimes just want to deepen the outer corner with a sheer tint of black. So this is the black. Okay, it's getting quite dirty over here. So this is the last row starting from this color, Snake Eyes from Colourpop which we can use it for, which we can use it as the eyelid color and this is from Cine Grace Blushed Cine Grace again, this is Kid Smiling and Amy Hearts Beauty I don't know what color is this because there isn't any sticker at the bottom of the eyeshadow pen
audience, this is the Customize Your Own Eyeshadow Palette in the gold and the soft pink version. So for me, I like to use this kind of colors during the holidays and my holiday starts from Christmas stretch a little more to the Chinese New Year's for next year Chinese New Year, it will be on February and depending on situation, I may give a little more stretch to my birthday which happens to be in March so definitely I will have more time to play around with this customized palette so dears, now it's your turn to share with me what kind of colors do you like to use during the holiday please comment in the comment section below yeah thank you so much and last but not least here's an inner beauty tip for us to be more beautiful and more wise Creativity, the more we use, the more we have. And remember, if this video inspired you to customize your own eyeshadow palette, please tag me in your video or from your Instagram photos. Thank you so much. If you happen to like this video, please consider to subscribe. Will you dear, have a peaceful, blissful and travel week ahead. See you next time. Bye! And before you go, please check out these two videos over here. Thank you!